So I'll bring in Girish for his point of view on that. Girish, uh, let me bring some statistics to the fore. According to predictions from Gartner, global spending on cloud services is expected to reach over $482 billion in 2022. And that's up from $313 billion in 2020. So as you can see, within two years, we've seen such a boost. Do you think we can expect to see such high growth numbers even after the pandemic ends or is this just a flash in the pan? Uh, Girish, if you could unmute yourself. The answer is absolute yes. Okay. Uh, I expect that, uh, you know, uh, the industry would beat even the number $482 billion. Uh, um, and uh, the revenue will be, uh, the cloud spend by enterprises will be uh, beyond that. Uh, see, one of the things that happened because of pandemic, the cloud was there. You know, Microsoft Azure has been doing a great headway for quite some time. Uh, but there were still a lot of hesitations for the CIOs and CTOs. Hesitations included, hey, is, is it okay if I put my mission critical workloads on cloud? Or is it secure? Or is it this? Or is there a job loss because of skills and so many things? You know, there are so many hesitations. Uh, but because of pandemic, it acted as a multiplier. Okay. Um, sometimes uh, to, to be resilient business and to continue uh, providing the business services, uh, a lot of enterprises, governments all over the world adopted cloud as the backbone. The reason it can scale, reason it can gulp a lot of data that no one could uh, could have thought before, right? So because of that, you know, the hesitation was gone, and all of a sudden, most of the world started working from remote locations, which required a great cloud support to enable them to work from different locations. So cloud became a multiplier. It became a forefront of uh, everything. Uh, Nitin talked about a few technologies. and I'm going to use uh, some more uh, capsulated words for that, like virtualization, virtual desktop we talked about. You know, everything went virtual. So are the, the hardware that was used for compute. Uh, we got like, uh, you know, age computing, IoT, um, uh, and a lot of new emerging stack, uh, you know, to facilitate learning, to facilitate knowledge dissemination during pandemic, or even collaborate, bring employees and uh, communities together. You got uh, augmented reality kind of projects going on, the virtual reality or mixed reality in a sense, right? So the same report that you referred to Gautam also says that the software as a service you know, was like more than 40% of this IT spending. So which means that there is a great trend towards commoditization of the compute, right? Because it can be a lot more efficient and it can be a lot more democratic. It can reach uh, to a to an nth level. And that's exactly what one of the points that uh, Nitin had. So what I saw is, you know, hybrid workforce, customer experience, their expectations are changing, e-commerce, building supply chain resilience, all of that really needed, you know, um, uh, a great support of a technology uh, and pandemics uh, just happened to be a reason for a lot of enterprises to try. And now I believe that we're just going to stay on cloud for for whole of time to come. So, you know, and then, then the last point I had on the cloud side is the capability of data uh, for doing all this intelligent work, you know, and and doing all the good, uh, we needed to capture a lot of data and we needed a lot of infrastructure for, for such data. I think cloud is providing that. Uh, I use uh, tools and technologies like Azure Synapse, Synapse Analytics, the entire stack from Microsoft uh, for such capturing and so many other technologies. The great part of Microsoft is, you know, it has adopted a lot of new technologies coming from external world as well on Microsoft Azure, enabling customer to build terrific solutions. So in my opinion, the spend is just going to beat all the numbers uh, for sure. Now, my last point, there is a possibility of a small time correction because the kids are going to go to school that online might come down. The colleges are going to open that online might come down, but it's just a small time correction because that generation is already hooked on to digital. So there's, there'll be a lot of digital assisted learning and very strategic investments will come in that zone. So in my opinion, I think cloud is there. It's not going to just stay, but it's going to enable humanity for doing better.